Hi, welcome to the demo about continuous delivery for Vertex applications using Jenkins and Ansible. In this demo, we will create a Jenkins job, which will fetch the latest code version of a project, build it according to its Maven configuration, and deploy it using Ansible, following an Ansible playbook. The project that we will deploy corresponds to the Vertex Microservices Workshop which consists of several microservices that interact with each other and together they simulate a complete trading system. Our environment consists of several virtual machines, one hosting our Jenkins instance and other five machines that will host each of the microservices. We will start working with a fresh Jenkins instance. This instance has been configured with several plugins, including Maven, Git, and Ansible plugin. Also, we have configured a pair, a pair credentials using a private key, which will be used by the Ansible plugin in order to access and provision our virtual machines. We'll start by creating a seed job. We will configure this job using a DSL script. In this script, we are setting the name of the job that we will create. Also, we are defining the Java Maven and Ansible versions that we defined in our Jenkins configuration. Also, we are setting the repository from which we will fetch the code base. And also, we are defining the Maven models that we will build and package into fed jars. Also, at the end, we are calling the Ansible plugin and specifying the playbook and the inventory file that we'll use. After building the job, we will notice that a new job was created. Now let's proceed with the job that will build and deploy our microservices. During the execution of the job, the project will be built. The corresponding tests will be executed and each of the modules will be packed into FedJars. Afterwards, Ansible will proceed to deploy the services. This process will be orchestrated by deploying one service at a time, following an order according to the dependencies between them. A special consideration will be taken that involves stopping any previous running service in case this deployment corresponds to an update. Once that Ansible finished, we can see that all of its tasks were completed successfully. Now we can go ahead and load the application dashboard. In the dashboard, we can see the current worth of our portfolio, as well as the latest operations that took place. Also, we can see the services that were discovered inside our environment. With this, we have arrived to the end of this demo, and I appreciate for watching.